What's up YouTube, it's Aaron Kelly, AKA The Tech Gentleman, bringing you guys another video. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at the MH40 headphones from Master and Dynamic. Already, I can let you know I'm super hyped about these headphones. Should be a work of art, should sound amazing. I got high hopes. But before we get into it, I wanna remind you guys, hit me up on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Also, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. And also, if you got any questions, make sure you leave them down in the comment section below. Without further ado, let's talk tech. So guys, this is the MH40 over ear headphone from Master Dynamic. If you don't know who they are, a quick history lesson. Uh, this company was started by a father and son duo and they're based out of New York City, so they're an American company. And their emphasis is on having amazing sound, but also amazing build quality and design. So I've been drooling over these headphones. Um, I posted an Instagram post talking about headphone porn uh, when I saw these for the first time. Ironically, this pair has been out for a while. This is their first pair. They've come out with several since then, uh, but they are um, extremely, extremely well designed, well made, but they also have an extremely uh, high price. So these are wired but they retail for $400. So if you know anything about headphones, once you get up into that price range, um, you have to, there's really nothing you can do to demand that somebody pay $400 for a headphone that's just wired. Uh, but luckily I was able to catch these on sale right now. They're on sale for $199. And my Sony MDR-1000X is happening to break. So uh, luckily I had the Best Buy protection plan. I was able to scoop these up. Let's get into it. So in the front of the box, you have a nice side profile of the headphones showing you the aluminum and the stainless steel, the leather, cowhide leather on the headband and on the back of the ear cups. And the actual ear pads themselves are a lambskin leather. On the left side, very clean, very simple. All you have is uh, the model number down there, sound tools for creative minds and the website. And on the back, you have kind of a highlight of some of their you know, features of their headphones. Uh, says appointed with the finest materials for decades of use, a rich warm sound profile, and got a list of accessories down here. And but we're going to go into that in the box. So let's go ahead and take this out. Let's sit that back there. So already very nice unboxing experience. This is like a soft touch kind of cardboard. You open it up, got a card here, Master and Dynamic. It says, at Master and Dynamic, our passion is building beautifully designed, richly appointed, technically sophisticated sound tools for creative minds. We design and build products utilizing the finest components and the most durable luxury materials to ensure decades of use. We hope you enjoy using our products as much as we enjoyed developing them. Nice. Whew. So this presentation off the bat is dope. Go ahead and take the headphones out. And these feel, they're light, but everything you see is whatever it's supposed to be. So this is lambskin leather. The headphones are freezing. It's like 30 something degrees outside. They just got here on my porch. So the aluminum is cold. The stainless steel along the adjustment rise is cold. But before I get into that, let me finish taking everything out the box. Set those down up there. Let's see in the center here, you got a leather case for your accessories. On the inside you have two cables. So you have just a standard, uh, you know, three and a half mil to three and a half mil cable. And this, even this cable is well made. Look at this. And when I look at the, the detail on that, I like how you got the nice long extension so that you can get this into a device even if it has a case on. This right here, it's kind of like a textured steel or metal um, got a nice long strain relief here nice braided cable notch and the second one you have is going to be a mobile cable that has some controls on it and it has a mic and i like how the controls and the mic are separated so you can have the mic closer to your mouth 
but you have the controls further down. And what that does is that prevents you from making noise, but also puts the mic in the best place it needs to be, but also puts the controls in the best place they need to be. So I like that. Same design on the cable there as well. And just looking at this case, there's one more thing in here. Then you have the uh, your adapter. So if you're plugging this into like some, you know, an amp or something like that, got a nice adapter. And y'all have it all engraved here with a nice little uh, master and dynamic etching. And that is like, you know, that's actually etched in. It's not just a just painted on anything like that. But even this case, man, this is yeah, this is leather. The case that everything comes in is leather. This is very nice. Let's see what else is in the box. Man, okay. Stuff galore. Okay, so you have a nice little pouch here. And it has a nice little Master Dynamic logo down there. Okay, so it closes magnetically. That's pretty cool. It even has a little pouch on the inside for you to keep your cables and adapters. Nice little nylon pouch. I feel like this is tough. It's not super luxurious, but it's, I wouldn't have a problem using this. I mean, hell, it seems like you can even watch it just because of the material it's made out of. We got another box here. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. So some bedside reading. So this is the usual manual for your headphones, but they're wired. So there's not going to be much, but they have some design stuff they talk about in here as well. Yeah, this is crazy. Make sure I keep that intact. And it looks like to be, that's going to be it for the unboxing. All right. So these headphones, like I say, look at the design. Like I say, there's nothing that's artificial on here. Like even the details on the little rivets here that are holding the leather onto the back of the cup have the uh, master or the MND little logo on them. This is all all going to be aircraft grade aluminum. And then you have the stainless steel adjustment rods here. They have numbers on them. And they say there are even ball bearings in here or something like that that help you get precise movement on it, a very smooth movement. And these feel great. Just to having a cold of that metal. Just feels premium, man. Ear cups are lambskin over memory foam. These do lie flat. They don't fold up, but that's fine. They lie flat. That'll be good enough. So on the bottom here on the left ear cup, they actually have a mute switch. So you can actually mute your music if somebody's trying to talk to you. But you also have an uh uh, earphone jack on both ear cups, which is nice because it serves two purposes. One, you can have the cord come out of whichever side you want, which is dope. But also, if you have somebody else who has some headphones, you can actually daisy chain and have them listen to the same audio you're listening to, which is very cool. Man, I've been so hyped about these headphones. The bill doesn't, doesn't disappoint at all. I'm going to take a first listen and um, let you guys know how they sound. Give me one second. All right, I'm back. Um, I'm, I'm kind of speechless. Mostly because the combination of build quality, but they sound good. I'm, I'm always worried because I have some headphones that I think are very cool looking, uh, that have an interesting design, like the Blue Lolas, um, but they don't sound good to me, right? They're lacking, they don't, I don't enjoy listening uh, to music on them. These, I'm so happy. <laughs> These sound great, all right? I was listening to some of everything. This is some jazz, this is some R&B, uh, this is some rap, some hip hop. And for me, I need to be, I need to feel the bass. Right? I need to be able to feel that hit, but I need to be controlled. They do that. I want to be able to hit the highs, but I don't want them to hurt my ears. They do that. On top of that, I don't know what else is going on. I listen to some of my favorite songs, and one of them in particular by Big Crit. I listen to that song probably a hundred times. Kid you not, I heard things in that song with these headphones on that I've never heard before. 
I'm literally listening to it. I was relieved when the bass line hit and it sounded as good as it did. But then I started hearing other nuances in the track. I, I really was, I was confused. So I had to play it back again, put on a different pair of headphones that I can't hear whatever that is. It's some other piece of the track that I, have been, I haven't been hearing. And I've listened to that song literally probably on 10 pairs of headphones and in my car, on speakers, Bluetooth speakers. I'm, I'm blown away. I don't know what Master Dynamic is doing. And for this to be their first headphone, man, sheesh. Um, I don't know. I'm not gonna say they're in the league of their own because I have some other headphones that I feel like are staples as far as consumer grade stuff um, that are coming in. I got some V-Motors coming in. Probably gonna end up getting some uh, Sennheiser HD1s. Um, I've heard a lot of good talk about those, but just off bat, man, the sound, and these aren't burnt in yet. Like, I haven't broken these in. I'm probably gonna put some pick noise through these for about you know, 20 hours or so and listen again, but it can only get better. And they already sound great. So, man, this is this is great. Master Dynamic, y'all are, y'all are killing it right now, man. But if you guys have any questions about these headphones, anything else you wanna know, let me know in the comment section. I'll make sure to answer it and get back to you. But until next time, guys, I'm gonna listen to some music. <laughs> Peace.